Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to review another outdoor security camera. This is the Reolink RLC 812A 8 megapixel security camera. We currently have six turret cameras. There are five megapixel surrounding our house. So what we're gonna do is swap out one of those lucky cameras with the new camera. And I'm curious to find out if this camera is compatible with my MBR system. It's a five megapixel system. So this may not even work, but we're gonna find out. And we're also gonna test the Reolink app for your phone, as well as the Reolink client software. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, let's go ahead and unbox the camera. And guys, as usual, make sure to give a thumbs up and share this video. So just a quick question, which camera system do you currently have installed in your house? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure to check out our playlist, Ultimate Security Cameras. Now let's open the box and see what's inside. Here's all the paperwork, instruction manual, stickers, a waterproof cover for the wires, mounting screws with anchors, looks like a network cable, and this is the camera. The camera and the mount are all attached together and I like that. And just a heads up, this camera is not made of plastic. It's made of durable metal and very solid. We have three connections here. POE connection, reset button, and a DC power connection if you want to power it that way. We're going to install it with a POE connection though. And just a heads up, this camera does not have infrared LEDs. So the spotlight stays on constantly at night. And that's a great security feature to have. And this is the speaker. And the small hole is a built-in mic. And at the front of the camera is the spotlights I was talking about, right here. Like I said before, this is not made of plastic, so it's very durable. And where the mount connects to the camera, there's a micro SD card slot. And this bracket can be adjusted to angle the camera in different directions. And I really like the wire coming out the bottom like that. It's a clean look. So once again, this is the waterproof kit. This protects the connection from the ethernet cable to the PoE connection. And these are the mounting screws with the wall anchors. And here's our paperwork. And this is the mounting hole template. And you get some real link stickers. And they come in different languages. And what's nice about this real link camera is that it connects locally to your network, which means no need for a monthly subscription, which keeps your data more secure and saves you money. And this is the waterproof lid installation guide. And this is the instruction manual for the camera. And that's everything you get with this camera. So now it's time to install it. We chose this location to install the camera. We're gonna replace that turret camera, which is five megapixels, with a new camera, which you know is 4K, eight megapixel. So before we install the camera, let's go for the tools we need for the installation. First thing you'll need is a good ladder, between six feet and eight feet. And guys, just a word of caution, be careful using a ladder. You don't wanna fall, ouch. All right guys, before we get started, these are the tools you're gonna to need to install this camera. You'll need a hammer, Phillips head, screwdriver, you need a drill, drill bits, and then you'll need a ladder. That's about it, it's pretty simple. And also you'll need the template that we, uh, I showed you so you can mount this to your stucco wall. This also can mount to a stud, uh, flat wood surface. You wouldn't need the anchors, you just drill right into the wood. So, all right, let's get started. First thing, I need to remove the old camera. This is a real link turret camera and it simply unscrews from the bracket. And the bracket is secured with four screws. So all I have to do is remove the screws and then remove the bracket. And I'm gonna remove the wall anchors as well. And then I'll patch the holes and use touch up paint. You'll never know it was even there. And here's the old camera. I'll probably install this in a different location later. And you know me, I'll make a video of it. So now it's time to remove the old bracket. Just four screws. So this new Reolink camera is an AI security camera. 
which comes with the Smart Person Vehicle Detection feature. And that means less false alarms caused by trees or lights. So now I'll tape the mounting template to the desired location. This new location will be a little bit higher than the previous camera. This way the roof overhang will protect the camera from the weather. And the higher angle will provide a better view of the front of the house. And the spotlight from the camera will shine on my driveway all night. And that's really a great peace of mind. Now it's time to drill the holes. I already attached the camera to the network cable so I could test the view of the camera angle. I definitely recommend doing this if you can. Okay, now let's go ahead and drill the mounting holes. And just a quick tip, you want to hold the mounting template while you're drilling the holes through the mounting template. Otherwise the template will move, and then the holes will be off. And that won't work. <laughs> and guys, remember, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. And I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And after we drill the mounting holes, we'll use our hammer to tap in the wall anchors. Alright, we're all done. Now it's time to hammer in the wall anchors, which I forgot to film. Oh. Alright, so we have the anchors put in, and now we'll just go ahead and screw this in, and then we'll go ahead and set it up, get the wires kind of looking nice and pretty, and then I'll paint this. I have some paint. I can fill this in and paint this, so. All right, let's get started. Okay, I ran into a problem here. Because I'm installing the camera very high up, under the roof line, it did make it difficult to attach the screws. I couldn't use a drill. And I had to find a very small Phillips head screwdriver. So keep this in mind if you install this camera in a tight spot. And after installing this, all you have to do is plug in the Cat6 wire to the PoE connection. And I actually did that earlier just to make sure the camera worked. And after plugging it in, it took about three or four minutes before the camera showed up on my Reolink app on my phone. It's a very easy setup. And just take a look at the picture quality. It looks amazing. I don't think you can get a clearer picture than this. Incredible. And you can see how clear the zoom is. There's really no distortion in the image. So just a heads up, if this is your first Reolink camera, then go to the App Store on your phone and download the Reolink app. Then follow the instructions on how to add a device. It's very easy. Now let's take a look at the camera on the Reolink client software on my PC. And once again, if you already have a Reolink client software set up, the camera will install itself on the software. And as you can see, the picture looks great. And just like my other cameras, you can adjust basic settings and advanced settings. This camera integrates easily into the software. And once again, the picture looks great. Now the last thing I want to do is check our NVR system and see if the camera works. Because that two terabyte system is meant for five megapixel cameras, not eight megapixel. And as you can see the top left of the screen says video loss. Well, that's our new camera. And that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> and this camera may not work with this MVR system. And a couple of things I already did after I installed the camera, I did a system reboot on the MVR system, and I assigned channel 1 to the camera. But it still didn't work. So I have one more trick up my sleeve. I decided to go ahead and update the firmware on the system. And this has to be done via USB. You'll need your model number of your MVR, and here's the website where you can get the firmware update. It's a zip file. Save it to a USB drive, unzip it, and delete everything but the pack file. That pack file is the firmware update. Now take the USB and plug it into the MVR system. There's a USB port on the front face. Now go to system settings and go to firmware update and start the process. This takes a few minutes, so be patient. Now go through the system wizard and it'll take you through all the steps like passwords and time zones and network stuff. And as you can see, it worked. It shows up perfectly. Even though this is an 8 megapixel camera, it still works with a 5 megapixel MVR system. Amazing. Let's take a look at the big screen TV in our family room and we'll show you daytime and nighttime footage. 
Looking at the big screen TV, the picture looks even better. It's great quality. Now let's see how it looks at night. Typically night shots like this all look the same. However, the spotlight makes a difference. It just seems more clear at night. It's not that typical black and white, which has more distortion. And I can even see the bugs flying across the screen. All right guys, the last thing I wanna talk about is the review for this camera. As far as setup goes, it's super easy. And this camera comes with a smart person vehicle detection feature. And like I said before, the Reolink cameras are all local network cameras. No subscription is needed. Once again, saving your data from hackers and saving you some money. And just remember, with this camera, it's a spotlight camera at night. So choose your location wisely. And once again, for our review, this camera is excellent. With great picture quality, ease of setup, all the great features, and the Reolink app, we absolutely recommend this camera. And of course, there'll be a link in the description below to where you can buy this camera. And make sure to check out our playlist, Ultimate Security Cameras. We have other real link camera reviews there as well. And once again, guys, I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And as usual, I want to thank you guys for watching. And remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.